Hi everybody, this is Mark Reagan from Christ Church, and today I'm going to be talking about musical notation, particularly talking about the staff and clefs and how pitches are notated. So in the last video, I discussed how we think of sounds in terms of their rhythm, duration, their, their length, long, short, and those sorts of things. And specifically, we showed how a whole note breaks down into two half notes, and then the half note breaks down into four quarter notes, and then eighth notes and sixteenth notes, and those sorts of things to show duration in music. This video is concerned with pitch. When we're looking at music on the page, like when we're looking at a, a text, reading the Bible or reading a book, we start reading from left and we go to the right. And the same thing is true in, in music as well. But we're not just concerned with the movement of time from left to right, from the be beginning to the end, but we're also concerned with pitch and how high they go and how low they go. So we use a device in music called a staff to show us that. So a staff just looks like this. Staff is five parallel lines on which we can hang notes, and then the spaces in between as well. So we have five lines, four spaces on a staff. That means that a staff will show us pretty conveniently, pretty easily, um, the uh, nine pitches there on the page. So if we're looking at actual pitches on the staff, I'll show you another visual here. So here are four notes or four different pitches on the staff. The second one is higher in reference to the first. The third is higher than both of those. The third is higher than both of the first and the second notes. The fourth one is lower than all three before it. Another concept here is that, yes, we have on the staff a possibility for nine pitches, five lines, four spaces, but this one, this oddball one, is actually off the staff. To show where it actually lies is uh, we are given a line that runs through it. That line is called a ledger line. So we're not just left with pitches that are that only nine pitches that we can sing, but we can also extend the staff up and down beyond um, its confines so that we can sing some additional pitches as well. All right, when we look at the staff, then in music, the first thing we'd encounter on the left side will be the clefs. So say if we're looking through a hymn of the Contus Christi or elsewhere, we see on the left side, left margin, we see a, a couple of symbols which we call clefs. Why are they there? The clef is going to show a range of notes. It's going to, that's, that's going to identify a range of notes within the, the staff. So this clef is called the treble clef. It's for the treble voices. The treble voices are the high voices. In this case, the soprano and the alto would sing from the treble clef. This is called the bass clef, and the bass clef indicates pitches for, or a range of pitches for the lower voices, so tenor and basses, this is your clef. If you're playing the piano, this would be for the higher notes, those would be notes in your right hand, whereas the lower pitches would be in the left hand with this clef. 